I ain't no coward. We're playing Black Ops 4, beautiful people. Elixirs, DLC perks, and even a talisman. And thanks to Top Super Kicker, we are playing Alpha Omega. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I post zombie content every single week. And if you want to see me play a specific map from any zombies game, go ahead and comment below and I'll do so. All right, we are here at Camp Edward. I have to admit, it has been so long, longer than I could even remember since I've played this map. So long that I've had to go back and see my Zombies 101 videos and remember where everything's at and how to even play this game. All right, we are here at the power station. We can turn this on. Oh yes, my favorite thing about Alpha Mega, the electric hellhounds, which are totally different and a completely new boss. Ooh, one thing I do remember about Black Ops 4 are these elixirs, and I always ran temporal gift so that I could get this double points and get a whole bunch of points from all this. And one of my favorite things about this map is actually Galva Knuckles. Galva Knuckles are amazing. And just so that I can use them, I'm gonna buy this Spitfire here. And we still have double points from the previous round, dude. This is awesome. Max ammo, very nice. All right, weird as it may seem, I'm gonna head on back here and I'm actually going to buy Ethereal Razor. Ethereal Razor is one of my favorite underrated perks because you can just get set up super quickly with it. Another double points. Oh my goodness, that's so, so lucky. Oh, it's a dog round, whatever. Ooh, that announcer though. And I gotta say, this underground bunker area is really cool. All right, there it is, the Pack-A-Punch. All right, let's do this then. Ah, uh, yes, the Nova Crawlers. If you beautiful people don't already know, I think these Nova Crawlers and the Nova Zombies are my biggest criticism of this map. Not only are they kind of unoriginal, they're pretty annoying to deal with. Oh yeah, there's a musical easter egg. Oh yes, the precursor to jumping jacks, how great. Oh yes, and this ventilation unit thing, my goodness, it's terrible. Also, I'm gonna buy a Zom shell right now. Alright, that's the end of the round, but I think I got the uh, Pack-a-Punch ready to go. Nope, there's one more house. Oh man, I hate this one. That's the beauty of Zom Shell. Slows everything down. Yeah, there we go. So obviously with the power and Pack-a-Punch online, I'm gonna Pack-a-Punch. And also I'm gonna double Pack-a-Punch as much as I can, obviously. Aha, Kilowatt. Awesome, that's perfect. So with Kilowatt, I believe we can start this quest here. Oh, I need to turn on, um, I need to turn on Rushmore first. Also get all my buildables going. Telepad, Zom Shield, Assembly Kit. All right, Rushmore. Rushmore is the best part of Alpha Mega without a shadow of a doubt. And the fact that no zombie spawns during this opening monologue is super cool. All right, let's go ahead and start up this quest. Get kills here so that we can get the access code to Rushmore so we can start getting these weapons. Number three, awesome, okay. I remember this being a lot more difficult. I'm gonna say that and I'm gonna go down immediately after that. Yep, here it is, here it is. Number acquired, awesome. Three, what is that, two? Three zero. Perfect. I love it when it's the first one you go to every time. Oh my goodness, these guys are all like supercharged. Okay, three zero four. I'm gonna end these guys. Please don't shoot or kill me, please. No! That was close. And we got our last perk here. Blood Wolf Bite. Lots of hate around for Blood Wolf Bite, man. I gotta tell you, I think it's great. And I think I'm gonna show you why here. 3040, awesome. Let's go get him, Luna. All right, let's put this in. We got 3040. Let's pick up a frame and let's get these quests going. All right, here it is. That's right there. That's pretty awesome. I think for this guy, all we gotta do is go up here and shoot the um, little electrical pylons that are glowing. There's one, there's two, three, four, five. Cool. You know, this really is really cool stuff. I didn't, I didn't appreciate this even at the time, and I appreciated a lot of Black Ops 4, which in my defense, when I was doing Alpha Omega 101, I remember enjoying this map a good amount. There's a lot of content to be had here. I just think this was where we started to see the slipping of Treyarch with these repetitive boss zombies, repetitive maps, repetitive wonder weapons and such. Kind of lucky we got a dog round for this guy. I wonder if this is gonna fill up entirely. Well, that didn't pan out. <laughs> I feel nervous sitting in this corner, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we got it. Oh, cornered, that's fine. 
Now, do I have to craft this or because I have the frame and the thing already there, can I just pick it up? I think I can just pick it up, can I? Let's go, awesome. My favorite strategy for this was obviously training in here if you've seen any of the gameplay, but I also love to place a telepad here. We'll pack a punch this guy and another one here. Also, we're gonna fully pack a punch this guy now. And I forgot to mention that because we have this talisman on, this increased damage is only 1500 instead of 2500. And when we repack it, it's only 500 now, which is really cool. So I'm actually looking for a specific alternate ammo type here. Uh oh. Oh, well, luckily we got it. So uh, I heard that. Yep. Pack punch is turning off. That is also one of the worst things about this map, unfortunately. You have to redo the entire pack punch sequence. Well, not the entire pack punch sequence, but you have to redo those uh, valves if you want to open that again. I just don't think that's fun. But while we're at almost the end of the round here, let's go do this other upgrade. All right, there's that orange mist right there. We can take this canister and we are gonna try to hit a wraith fire on that chimney there. Or like we did in my setup guide, I'm just gonna shoot it and it's gonna work. Okay, so it appears that shooting it doesn't work. I bet you there's a hitbox in there somewhere, but I'm just gonna try to finagle this a little bit like so. And then we'll drink one of these guys. Equipment. Oh, I love the names. Okay, that was that was bad. And we missed it still. Wonderful. Man, I love these specialists here in Black Ops 4. I ran out of ammo with it. What the heck? All right, we got a max ammo. I think we're closer to the end of the round. We're going to keep trying this guy. Almost there. Let's just kill off these guys. And maybe there. How is that a miss? Oh, I just got my daily challenge here, these contracts, 250 kills from the hip, and I'm also, it was destined to be today, play 20 total rounds of Alpha Omega, and I'm seven kills away from getting this pack bunch challenge. There we go. I wonder if we can do this mid round here. We're gonna go way up. Yeah, that, what, that, was, that wasn't it? How was that not it? That was right on the fireplace. I wonder if this guy, these grenades count. It does not appear that they do. Well, if it's a dog round, you know what that means. I got like two more shots at this guy. Whoa, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Well, in the meantime, I actually did equip this, uh, I think it's called perk up elixir. So we're gonna use it now to get four more bonus perks. And honestly, those are really good for perks. We got Quick Revive, Dying Wish, Winter's Wail, and Bandolier Bandit. More ammo, faster health regen, and extra free life, and basically better Widow's Wine. Gotta say, not a fan of these guys shooting you. Man, dude, Zomshell is so cool. I miss it. I don't know if I'm supposed to do it from a certain angle or something, like maybe like super high up. Oh, that's not gonna hit at all. Psh. I wonder if you need to actually do all of the pack, like if pack punch needs to be on during this step. I'm actually gonna try turning on power and see if that's the problem. All right, so power's back on. I'm gonna hug straight up to this guy and we're gonna do two really solid shots up to the sky here. All right, very, very far away. That might be it. No? Dang. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty frustrated right now. Like, I feel like I got a good line of sight on it. I feel like I angled it perfectly and it just didn't give it to me. Okay, so here's the reason why I really love Luna. You see those little max ammos over there? Well, if I get them with this wonder weapon, boom, max ammo. Now this is possible also in Ancient Evil, I believe, unless they patched it, where Luna will give, like those little max ammo drops, they're supposed to give you one clip of ammo. But one clip of ammo in this wonder weapon and the hands of whatever in uh, Ancient Evil is just a full max ammo. So super, super powerful. And I absolutely love it. Right, we're going to keep trying this thing. That was too far again. What the heck? Okay, so we have equipment back again and a dog round. We should force it here. Perfect. And we even got one extra one. Awesome. So let's do this guy. I think that's too low. No, that's not low enough. Okay, down low a little bit more. That should be it. That's totally on there. What the heck? Is this bugged or glitched or something? Oh my goodness, really? That, like... That was no different than any of the other things I got in there. That took us like 10 rounds. All right, well, at least it's round 30 now and we have a whole bunch of enemies we can just kill. Oh, what the heck? There it is. 
I am going to put this gun away though and pick up a frame. And then finally we can pick up the Z. Now this is, I think, my favorite iteration of this because it's a shotgun. <laughs> and shotguns are just super fun in zombies in my opinion. Well, it took us long enough. All right, let's pack punch this guy, make it a little bit stronger. Awesome. All right, so I got crab freeze for some reason and uh, we're just gonna keep moving on and see if this is uh, any good. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes, the three scientists. This is probably a really difficult one. I don't know if we're going to be able to single out and kill one specific frozen zombie here at round 27. What's up, Ted? Oh my goodness, that guy just spawned in front of me. Oh, there he is. And melee. No goo. Oh, there he is again. No. Oh, our shield is almost gone. Good thing we have this elixir that's going to give us a brand new shield. My goodness, this is so difficult to train down here. I thought it'd be easier. Notice my gun is not doing a lot of good right now, especially against these Nova guys. So annoying. All right, I'm gonna try to respawn. Oh, there we go. Boop. And there's some goo. Awesome, I wonder if he'll just respawn if I keep running around here. I hope so. Ooh, I just shot the head off of the last um, robot here. If you shoot off all the heads, something happens. How do I do that? Doesn't it spawn just like a whole bunch of these robots in the next round? I feel like that's what Tagged or Toten did with its free perky strike too. Aha, I think that worked. I think going across the map and then doing that worked because yeah, that's a crowd freeze guy. Oh yeah, that guy is just going to town. He is coming to hit me. You know, despite that chimney frustration, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm using really cool perks. I'm using a cool wonder weapon. And for as much as I'm probably and probably have said that it's just Nuketown, but kind of different or reused assets, this aspect of it, this underground bunker facility is pretty cool. We're just going to move on to the next round here, see what happens. But I think I'll save a few zombies and then just teleport back down now that I know that works. Ooh, dog round. No, it is the free perk Easter egg. That's right. Awesome. Oh, it's round 28. I remember this being quite difficult. Oh, these guys are like super strong, aren't they? Oh man, look at that. They're like super sprinters already. See, like, why can't these guys be the be the uh, the bad guys? Like, why can't these be the special zombies? This is so cool. I'm shooting robots with a shotgun ray gun and nuke down. That's awesome. Crap. Do I like Alpha Omega? Look at this. We got ammo up the wazoo because of Luna. Dude, I love Black Ops 4. Oh, yeah. Ooh, dude. Ah, uh, Victorious Tortoise. I don't think I've ever used this perk legitimately, but I gotta say, I'm really enjoying Black Ops 4. I kind of really don't want to stop playing this game. Beautiful people, would it be in your interest if you saw me grind out Dark Aether in this game? I am terribly far away. Like, there is a lot of guns that need to be gold in order for me to get Dark Aether in this game. But would that be content you guys want to see? All right, I think this is the last little horde here that kind of caught on those cryo-freeze guys, which is good. I feel like I'm just going to have to take the risk and go to the next round. If we down, we down. Got full specialist, full shield, and full grenade. So hopefully I can not die. There he is. Boom. Got that. Let's do this. Okay. I can pick up that guy. Awesome. Ooh, don't die. Don't die. Very good. Very good. Clutched it up. Awesome. Now let's take this off. Redo this because all we need to do is just survive one more little ring of fire thing and we are good to get this other one. All right. Actually, I think I'm just going to go now. Take the chance. It's round 30. We got the shotgun ray gun. What could go wrong? Boop. Okay, I'm surprised I even remember all this stuff, honestly. I mean, I did look up some stuff yesterday, or not yesterday, a couple days ago, but... Okay, 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 calm down, chill, 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 <laughs> chill. Awesome, okay, and then up here we have the Ray Gun Mark II X. Now, obviously, the first thing I want to do with this gun is pack a punch it, but I can't because those stupid Nova things. I mean, the single one's pretty cool and all, but really, two is better than one. You know, I bet you they could bring back Rushmore in a pretty convincing way in the Dark Aether story. They have all sorts of computer terminals and they already have Adam. I guess Adam is. Wait, Adam is this thing. Isn't Adam what this thing is called? Do I even know my zombies anymore? Wait, Adam's the Metroid guy. These guns are just too darn fun. <laughs> my frames drop every time I shoot them, though. And there's some ammo. There's this guy. Awesome. Blood Wolf Bite Man, I'm telling you, most, most underrated perk in all of Call of Duty Zombies. I gotta say, I thought the weapons were better in this game than they are here. Maybe Cold War just really buffed them. Granted, I'm still killing people, but not nearly as efficiently as I'd like to. There's so many secret hidden little codes you can do in Rushmore 2. For example, if you do easy, I guess it's not accepted. Never mind. 
Oh my goodness. That just popped dying wish. Oh my goodness. E A S Y. There we go. So easy will get you a five minute undead man walking. So if you're having trouble with any of these steps, you can just pop that in and um, you'll be in easy town. But I got to put this back and I got to get my favorite here. This shotgun. So good. I mean, this is nice. I've never done a Black Ops 4 Easter egg. Kind of want to. Nah, I don't know. What do you guys want to see me do? Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, Cold War, even Vanguard? I'll do it if you tell me in the comment section below. And for more weekly zombies content, subscribe, check out that video and stay beautiful.